Hey guys, so today we're going to be going through percentages. We're going to be going through conversion of percentages, the unitary method, quantity of a quantity, and application of percentages. The prior knowledge that you require to know uh, before you can go through this video is decimals and how they work, fractions and how they work, and basic percentages and how they work. So let's go into the uh, three main methods that we're going to be discussing in this uh, video. The first method is referred to as a unitary method or the unit method, where if we're given a percent to find out, for example, if it asks us to find 26% of 300, the formula we use is the amount, which is 26, divided by 100 times by whatever percent it asks for. Because if we have the amount, let's say we have $26, that's 100%. If we divide that by 100, we find out what 1% is. Once we have 1%, we can calculate any percentage that we are required to calculate. The next uh, basic formula or structure we're going to use is when it asks us a quantity of a quantity. Here, you put quantity A over, divided by or over quantity B and you multiply by 100. Whenever it asks you to convert a decimal or a fraction to a percentage, all you have to do is times it by 100. That's all you have to do. So decimal to fraction, decimal or fraction to a percentage, we just need to multiply by 100. Let's start by doing um, a few questions. If you think you know how to do it, pause the video and try it yourself and we'll go through the answers. So the first question says, what is 36% of $250? Here we're gonna use a unitary method. And the unitary method is the amount, which is 250, divided by 100 times by the percent we need. So the percent we need is 36 there, times by 36. If we pop that in the calculator, 250 divided by 100 times by 36, we get $90. Don't forget your measurement. Next one, 72% of 165. Again, the unitary method amount, which is 165, divided by 100, times by the percent we need, which is 72. So we do 165 divided by 100 times by 72. We get 118.8 grams. 118.8 grams. 156 of 375 is going to be the amount, which is 375 divided by 100 times, up, times by the percent. Now the percent here is above 100, which is fine. It's still fine. It just means it's going to be more than the original amount. Times by 156. So 375 divided by 100 times by 156, we get 585 milliliters. So if the, if, the, if the percentage is ever more than 100, you know it's going to be more than the original amount. Here we have amount, unitary method again, 1565 liters divided by 100 times by the percent we need, which is 0 0.2. So 1565 divided by 100 times by 0 0.2, that equals 3.13 liters. Last one, 1,056% of 20 centimeters. So this is gonna be a lot bigger than the original amount because you're doing 1,056%. Same thing, you use the unitary method. The amount, 20 divided by 100 times by the percent we need, which is 1056. 20 divided by 100 times by 1056 gives us 211.2 centimeters. So we use a unitary method there to find a percent of a quantity. Let's move on. We have calculate the following as a percentage. So we have a quantity of a quantity. A quantity out of a quantity. And remember the formula was A over B times by 100. So let's do the first one. First quantity is 50 out of 60 times by 100. The next one is 37 out of 60 times by 100. So we'll do the first two. 50 out of 60 times by 100 is 83.3% one DP. Next one is 37 divided by 60 times by 100. We get 61.7% 1 DP. 
Now let's look at um, C, D, and E. Now, in order to do a quantity out of quantity, we have to convert them both into the same measurement. Now here we have 65 centimeters and we have two meters. So we either convert them both to centimeters or both to meters. It's easier here to convert them both to centimeters. So we're gonna have 65 over 200 because there are 200 centimeters in a meter. Times by 100. 65 divided by 200 times 100 is 32.5 percent here we have milliliters to liters so we're going to do 575 divided by 1000 because there's a thousand milliliters in a liter 575 divided by a thousand times by 100 is 57.5 percent and the last one five meters of two kilometers so we have five out of how many meters in a kilometer? There's a thousand. So then two kilometers is going to be 2,000 times by 100. Remember A over B times by 100. Five divided by 2,000 times by 100 is 0.25%. Okay, so let's go on to the last type of questions, which is convert the following to percentages. So here we have some fractions and some decimals. Remember, whenever you have a fraction or a decimal, all you have to do is times by 100. So the first one is going to equal 3 out of 20 times by 100, which equals 15%. Not going to write the method for all of them. 30 over 60 times by 100 is 50%. Here again, times by 100 to give me 120 over 20 times by 100. Here you see that the numerator is bigger than the denominator, so it's gonna be a lot larger than 100%, so it's gonna be 600%. Here, uh, we just, for fractions, there's two ways you can do it. You can either type it into the calculator, or you can use a decimal place and just move it two hops across. So this equals 65.3%. Again, times by 100, two hops, one, two equals 170%. Again, two hops times by 100 equals 26, oh sorry, 2,653%. Again, two hops times by 100 means that is 6%. Hopefully that helped you with percentages. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask.